Hi guys, this is Brenda from Planty Pants. I have no idea why I said it that way, but thank you so much for joining me today for another Planty video. I am super excited today. It's Friday and I have the day off, but I'm excited and for another reason that starting next week, I am going to have Fridays off from my job. So my plan is to try to get my videos done, to, to do everything on Friday, do all my plant chores, anything that I need to do and make a video on Fridays. It gives me another whole day to do that. So I'm super excited about that um, because I have a hard time sometimes finding the time because it's time consuming, seriously, you guys. But I'm excited about that. And I'm hanging out with my daughter this morning. I'm gonna go to a little antique shop, see what we can find, fun things. Other things in life that bring you joy is by looking at them because they come from another era and they're still there. So um, I love antiques, we love doing that. Um, so yeah, so today what I would like to start with is updates. I make videos, I try to do them every week. I got all kinds of things going on in the house with my plants and different levels of how they're growing. So I wanna share a couple of um, updates as well of a couple of flowers, beautiful flowers that are, um, that are blooming right now in Planty Pants' home. So check these out. Okay, to start with, I'm not sure how long ago it was. I think it was a couple of months, maybe three months. I'll have to look it up. Um, I cut back this Aglionema Siam um, because the pieces were getting really attilated and they were getting tall and there were no leaves um, at the bottom. So I cut off three pieces. So um, I am here to tell you that these two pieces right here, I'm not sure if that, anything's gonna happen with that one. That one I'm not sure either. I'm not sure how I like the looks. I mean, it's still pretty firm. But this one over here has a little bit of growth starting from the side right there. And of course, the two pieces that were left, you know, are doing pretty good. So I do have a little bit of growth with that one. I'm not sure about those two yet. And then these are the top pieces that I had cut off and I'm rooting in water. Well, I'll tell you that I just rinsed them off and gave them some fresh water um, yesterday, and I, I don't have any roots. Um, well, there's a root on that little plant right there, but that's not one of those. I don't have any roots yet. However, what I do have are some really good, um, like little, little nodes that look like they might be gonna turn into um, roots. I I really feel like these are these are gonna root. There's three pieces in there. So when they do, I can put them back in that plant, hopefully, and get a nice, um, more um, full-looking Aglionema Siam. Okay, and then this is an update of my Dracaena Song of India. I cut them back. Um, there used to actually be three in there, and I lost one a couple of months ago. And I cut them back because they just slowly started to die and I'm just trying to save them. So they, it's been, I feel like it's been quite a few weeks now and I don't see anything happening yet. But I'm really not too, too concerned about it because um, Dracaenas are kind of notorious for, like I used to, I had a marginata that I cut off like this and I swear it took like five months before it grew. But I, so I'm hoping that it will develop some some, oh, my husband's shoveling. <laughs> we had a huge storm, so yeah, so there's that. My um, Dracaena Song of India, I'm holding on. Okay, and here's an update of a couple of alocasia corms. I'm not quite sure what kind these are. It looks like they might just be two polys, um, but I'm hoping one of them might be a Maharani, but they're coming good, <laughs> they almost look like twins. Coming along good in my greenhouse cabinet, Alocasia. Super excited to share this. Um, this was that, oh, I just watered it. It's only in moss. This was that um, Philodendron scormertium, and I thought I had lost it. The roots were like almost non-existent, and then um, one of my watchers, Dee, 
you know, mentioned that she thought it didn't have enough of a dense soil, so it wasn't retaining water. So I, I'm propagating it in here and look at, look at this. Talk about success. I am so excited. So I am always looking forward to feedback, you guys. Um, always. If you see something, if I name something wrong or if you see something that you think that I'm doing incorrectly or you want to give me some advice, chime in, man. I'm all ears. All right, and then I have this beautiful Philodendron McDowell, um, a new leaf coming. She's starting to unfurl right here, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, as soon as it unfurls a little bit more, I'm gonna turn this plant around. I keep turning it around and moving this thing to the other side, um, but she loves it in this spot, southern, southeastern facing window. So yeah, there's that. You know what, I think I'm gonna show you a, a couple of flowers. It's this such a beautiful time of year. Okay, this is one of my orchids that I have in a another southeastern exposure window. Look at those flowers. Oh my gosh. This is like a, um, I think it's called a tiger orchid for obvious reasons but that's the main plant. She is absolutely beautiful, but check out. Let me see if I can get a nice close up and let it focus. Oh yeah, here we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you these. So these are the Defenbachia maculata, um, the pieces that I cut. Um, the mother plant totally didn't make it at all. Like like. The roots were gone. It was in that that like peat mossy um, type of medium, and but I'm happy to say that these four pieces. All right, here's one. Roots. Two. Well, there's one root right there. See it? <laughs> three. Whoops. Three. There's a little root, and this little small one. There's a little teeny root right there. Okay, so I'm happy to say that these things are, I think, going to be a new plant. Thank you, Home Depot. They gave it to me for free. Plus, look at the new growth here. See? Yep. The here, too. I'm so excited. So, yeah, that's a huge success. I want to show you one more flower. All right, so here in the bathroom, um, that's where I ended up putting that fern where the Pocos was last weekend. So there's a fern. I think she's going to really love it there. And what I wanted to show you here was this succulent. I, I know that you know how much I love these two succulents, you guys. You've turned the light on in here. Hold on just a moment. Turn them all on. Sorry about that. So this succulent is flowering and it is so absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And each little bud that you see is going to open up and they're going to be beautiful fairy looking like white, almost translucent flowers. And they will end up looking like this once they're spent. Isn't that the coolest thing? Oh, that's what's going on. And oh my gosh, flowers, flowers this time of year bring me so much joy, so much joy in my house. Uh, and outside, but, you know, they're not outside yet. So, okay, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this morning before I get into my chores, and I have a few to do, is a very sad story about my Hoyas. You know I have a lot of Hoyas. I did a Hoya collection video well over a year ago, and I'm going to be doing another one because I have acquired many more since then. However, Sometimes I just don't pay attention as much as I should. And this hap if this happens to you, just my excuse is that I have so many plants and I don't notice, which is a terrible excuse. I'm doing an injustice to my babies, but um, so anyway, I noticed last week that there are like three of my, well, first of all, I lost a beautiful, oh my gosh, like my, one of my favorite Hoyas, it was a Croniana uh, Silver Splash gorgeous. One of the leaves was like half green, literally half green and half silver splash. It was just 
so beautiful. And um, very slowly that started declining and I didn't pay close enough attention until it was too late. I had nothing to salvage. The root system was gone. That's how sad that is. I'll drop a picture so you can see how beautiful it was and I can't believe I did that because I started it from just a very small piece I bought off of Etsy. So that's one. <clears throat> I repotted a couple of other ones because they needed to be repotted. The roots needed attention, so I gave them new soil, but I feed my plants almost every time I water them to some degree, so it's not that they weren't getting nutrients. So anyways, I came across two of them last week, so this is the first one, my Hoya Lacanosa, and this actually flowered last year, and I noticed that it just hadn't grown like at all, like nothing. I mean, like if you look at the, um, there's no like there's no active growth points anywhere on this plant see so I took it out of its soil and the roots were like totally non-existent they were so few and so tiny and stringy they were gone so I pulled them off and I put them in this moss and I'm putting it back putting this one in my Ikea cabinet my Hoyas love that that Ikea cabinet they just really do um, and this one has never been in there, and it was doing fine not in there, but I'm putting it in now because it's struggling. So there's one, my Hoya Lacanosa. I was getting some attention, much needed attention. I'm so annoyed. And then this little beauty um, is a Hoya that I got from a Hoya vendor from, um, I feel like it was on Facebook Marketplace, but it's a Hoya SPUT33. And this plant was doing really good too, but then I noticed, and it was growing, like every year I noticed it growing, but this year it didn't grow, so I took it out like I did the um, La Canosa, and the roots were the same. They were like not even there, you guys. So I guess the lesson from that would be, my challenge is I have so many plants, I mean, and I look at all of them each week, but I don't look close enough to every single one of them, like I do my alocasias and the plants that are prone to pests, but my others that I don't typically have problems with, I just kind of water and, you know, give them some loving and I don't really inspect them thoroughly. So I need to start doing that more with my Hoyas because my heart is broken that I lost that crony on the silver splash. Yeah, so a little update on that too. But aren't those updates, aren't those update videos great? Things are growing, some didn't make it. You know, that day from Bacchia Maculata original pot which think about it what it looked like when I had it I'm not surprised I didn't make it but all the pieces are ruining that I have left four pieces so hopefully we'll get a little plant out of that um, and my other plants that you know my poor song of India nothing yet but I'm not giving up I, I really feel like it's gonna grow because Dracaenas are notorious for doing that so I'm pointing back there because it's back there <laughs> all right so first chore for the day is this beautiful Syngonium berry illusion now some of you are probably going to disagree that this is a berry illusion, but I really feel like it is because I bought it called that. And also because um, when I bought it, it absolutely had, you know, the red veins. Uh, um, and then I almost lost the plant and I cut it back and a lot of little, a lot of little plants came from what I almost lost. And so this is what was left. And if you look really carefully, like if you look at this one, this leaf right here, you see the red on the inside? That's what makes me think, I'm trying to get you to see that, but I'm not helping, am I? Right there, oops, see the pink? Yeah, so I think it is um, a berry illusion. So if it's not, that's fine, but see how, I had this at work and it's really wiry looking. I mean, I don't think it's beautiful, so I'm gonna cut it because the growth is like way up here on this one. So I am going to cut these. This one I'm gonna cut right here. There's one. This one I'm gonna cut right, I think right here. There's two. This little one I'm gonna cut right there. Three. And this one I'm gonna cut way up here. Four. All right, so now I have, of course I had to drop two of them because yeah, that's what I do. Hold on just a second. Now I have four little pieces. Four little pieces to propagate. And so I'm gonna put these in water with some 
um, Super Thrive or some other kind of fertilizer and I'm gonna propagate these and put them in a new pot because they were getting too lanky and weird looking. So I'm probably gonna toss this, I'm sorry. Maybe I won't, we'll see. I might actually, I might just cut these down even closer to you know the nearest node to the top of the soil and then see if I can just get a whole new plant. I probably will do that because I have enough room in my uh, sunroom, so I think I'll do that. So this is one thing I'm doing today. All right, number two, I am potting up and I'm pretty excited about this. I'm really excited about this. Ooh. I am potting, yeah, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this clay pot right here and I'm going to pot up my, oh my gosh, philodendron, I think it's a potato. It is. It's a it's a potato. Philodendron potato, monstera potato. I get mixed up sometimes. But look at these beautiful roots. It is ready to go. So I purposely just changed the water this morning for this plant. So I'm going to go ahead and put those um, these pieces to root right in there. It's all ready to be set on the shelf. Plus, it looks pretty, right? Yes. All right. So here's my pot. Here's my gorgeous plant. I can't wait. This is going to have a moss bowl. So let's just get right to business, shall we? All right. So here's a little piece of screen I'm going to put in the bottom. And I'm just going to start filling up with some soil. So. I'm probably only gonna put that much in there, like this much in the bottom. Simply drop it in. I just rinse these roots and they're fine. Let me bring it down a little bit here with me. And drop it right in there. Try to push the try to push the roots down a little bit as I go. Try to bear, kind of get them to because they they're kind of popping up. So I'm just going to make sure that I put the soil like directly on top of them so they'll go down. Give them a little push. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it already. I'm loving it already. So this particular plant is what, like one of my favorites because I just think it's so beautiful. I love the shape of the leaves. Absolutely love the shape of the leaves. It looks so regal. It looks like paisley. It's like a paisley plant. <laughs> Alright, well, that is pretty much it. So if I'm going to bring up a teeny bit, I'm going to put this moss pole. And I do have, I do have, I, I feel like I rushed a judgment about these moss poles. I'm kind of finding that I'm liking them a little bit more than I thought. And I was worried about these rotting after time, but good gravy. It's got, that would take a long time for that to rot, so I'm not too concerned about it. So, I'm going to try to find, okay, I think I'm gonna put it on this side. Right here. It's all the way down to the bottom. Put a little bit more soil in. Not much, just a little. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna get some um, gardener's tape, the green gardener's Velcro. And I'm probably gonna tie it to this pole right here like this. All right, so let me get a little piece of Velcro here. Okay. <clears throat> so, there's a little piece of Velcro. So I just want to kind of snug it up against one of the roots, close to one of the roots, so that the root will want to go into the moss pole. So that's, oops. That's pretty much all I did right there, see? See the little nodes? 
I try to try to get that to climb up the pole right there. So this is my I think it's a philodendron potato. Yep. All right. Another chore down. Gotta love it. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is this kind of um, makes me very, very sad. What what I've done. Sometimes I just buy plant. You know, I'm guilty of seeing a beautiful plant in person and just having to have it without even doing any research on taking care of it. It's so dumb to do that. And especially if you spend like $40, which is what I paid for this plant. But anyway, it was beautiful when I got it. I did a video showing you when I got it. It was gorgeous. My alocasia scalp room. And um, she's not doing very well. So I'm just gonna show you and suck it up. All right, I've lost two leaves already. This leaf is getting crispified. This leaf, I've got a little weird yellowing down on the bottom there. This leaf has a teeny bit, got a little damage right there. I'm not sure what happened there. This leaf, okay, so there's two plants in here and they just don't look good right now. And the soil is very dense. So I'm gonna repot it. This is the original soil that it came, with, came in. And I'm super sad about it because um, this is was probably like one of my favorite, my favorite ever that I've seen in my life, alocasia leaves. I just had to have it. All right, so I am going to bring you down a little bit again. I'm gonna take a look at what these roots look like because the plant itself does not look good. And now that I'm looking at it, that it is not in the soil that it came in. This is my mix, and you can see that it's grown some, but the roots are not looking very good at, well, all right. I feel like that mix was too, too dense. Yeah, all right. I feel like I put it in a little bit of a more dense mixture because of what happened to my um, squamiterum. Because this is the this is the mix that has more soil than my my regular mix, so that just goes to show you that each plant's different. I feel like, oh, all right, it just split apart. You know, there's definitely two. So I'm gonna repot them up in my my looser chunky mix. Um, but the roots don't look that bad actually. If you can see them, they're not that bad. Right, you know, right down to the end. So I am going to probably just put it right back in this pot, but give it a give it this chunkier mix. See what happens. I'm really sad though, you guys. I'm really sad. Don't think I'm not. So I'm just gonna put these in here side by side. I think they should be okay, but who knows? Let me bring you down a little bit more so you can see how I'm doing this. I am just gonna put them side by side like this. I'm just gonna try to hold them up like that. I hope I can save, save this, these. I think I can, you guys. It, you know, but I don't know if this is going to be the trick to save them. I'm just trying to change out the soil, make it a <clears throat> a chunkier mix. Don't give it as much water, um, and put it back where it was and see what happens. That's what I'm doing with this guy. But I'm going to keep a really close eye on it because my heart is breaking because of what I did. Yeah, I know it breaks my heart, but I did it. To myself so we all do all right the last thing that I'm going to do today is to pot up my beautiful Syngonia Matique now I had I put the ones that I'm going to be propping up in this bowl these have been rooting in water forever so this is enough and I really wanted to put um, I really wanted to put it on a moss pole 
So I feel like these are enough cuttings to do two pots. So that's my plan. Um, and I hope it works, I really do. So, to, oh, let me just show you. So two of them, this one is, this one is the top piece, obviously. <clears throat> so that's gonna go in, in one pot. And there was another good sized piece that had, yeah, this piece right here. And this is another good sized piece that is already pushing out new leaves right there. This is gonna go in the pot with the moss pole. So let me put those over here. And then these three, um, and it's so funny, every single one of them is growing. Look at the growth inside there. See it coming out right there? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut this long piece of stem off right there. So there's one piece for that. Make sure you can see all this. This piece didn't have a, oh yeah, it has a little stem. Um, I guess I'll cut a little tiny piece of that off. It's got some nice roots, nice piece growing right there. There's two. So this little pot's gonna have four. Nothing really to cut here. And nothing really to cut here. Okay, so four pieces. So we're gonna do that one first. Let me get this water out of here before I spill it everywhere, because I will. That's what I do. Um, all right, so four little pieces. We're gonna use this pot, this um, clay pot, and I am just going to try to find a good sized chunk of fur bark. Plug up the hole down there. I just take pieces. I just take pieces and pray that they plug it up. Because I don't have another piece of screen. I don't have another piece of screen. All right, so I'm gonna put probably, let's see. Yeah, one scoop to start, one scoop. And these are going to be a little bit different to, to prop up you guys because of how they're growing. Like, <clears throat> okay, this one's fine. You can just grow straight up. Put that right there. Or just hold it there. This one, see how it's growing kind of sideways, like totally in reverse to how it should grow? I'm going to plant this one like this, like with the stem literally sideways because that's where the growth, the growth is coming up from right here. So I'm going to plant this one this way sideways. I think I need a little bit more soil in there. Let's see. I think I do. I do. All right. So one, two. This is the same thing. I'm going to kind of blend it sideways like this. That. And then this, this, the same exact thing is happening. So they're gonna kind of be sideways in here. But I think they'll be fine once they start growing, they'll just grow straight. It's really kind of a tricky situation when this happens, and this does happen a lot, in my opinion, this happens a lot with Syngonium. Um, and Pothos too sometimes, but definitely Syngonium. So I am just filling it in here, trying to Trying to poke the roots down under. My hands are getting really, really dirty. Oops. Really dirty. All right, that's just a long root that I need to bring around and tuck in. Poke those down. Oop. I'm gonna be able to figure out where these are coming out when I'm do when I'm done. <laughs> this one is. Not even in at all yet, so let's push that down in there. Oops, I just got dirt, soil all over my pants. Sorry. That's why I was so excited to be doing this on a Friday, because when I make videos, I make a mess on my land. It takes me, you know, however long to make it. And then I have to clean up my mess and put, you know, find a new place for everything that I've repotted or whatever I've done. And then, um, clean up 
clean up my mess because I have dirt on the floor, water on the floor. I usually end up, okay, this does not look pretty at all, you guys, but it will when it grows. So there's one, four pieces of Zagonian Batik. Give it a good drink now, put it in a nice sunny window. See what happens. Look at that beautiful leaf. Love it. All right. And then last but not least, I'm going to use this large pot for these two pieces. And now that I'm saying those words out loud, I'm deciding that's not a good idea at all. So I'm going to get a different pot because, oops, oh my gosh, I lost my little thing, my GD. Oh my hand. All right, I'm gonna get a different pot because this one's too big. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this pot, this little plastic pot. I'm gonna put it in this white cash pot so it looks prettier. All right, let's get the show going. Let's see. Actually, it's probably all I'm gonna put in there. We've got this one piece, gorgeous, and two pieces, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's hold those right up. far enough apart that I'm going to crowd each other. I just love doing this, you guys. I find it so relaxing. It truly is. So my intention is to eventually get this on a moss pole. So I think I'm going to leave it in here until it gets more established and then probably uh, repot it into a bigger pot in a few months and put it on a moss pole. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, just pop this right in here. And there's my new Singonian Batik. Hello! <laughs> I'm such a weirdo, I'm sorry you guys. I'm just excited about my day, still. So that's pretty much it for my chores today and I'm super happy that I got them done and that you watched me do it. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. I really do love peop watching people um, repot, repot plants and, and do this stuff. I watch a lot of plant videos. Um, so thank you for taking the time, if you made it to the end, to watch my video with my chores and updates. Um, there's always stuff going on in Planty Pants, with Planty Pants. So um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so right now. It's really simple. Just click subscribe and like my, um, like my video if you did. Um, check on, click on notifications if you would like to be notified when I put one out. I do try to put one out each week, and going forward, I hope I can having Fridays off. Hopefully. We're only doing it on a trial basis at work, so hopefully it's going to work for me. But we'll see. I'm going for it for now. So until next time, thank you again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And God bless.